First off, b- big shout out to Bali Song. <laughs> That's Bali great... Song made this. Uh, it's uh, the, the shit he makes is so. You know how like people make stuff and it's like you can you you. Look I love at it. this the Jr. Heart tattoo. Yes, but like people will make things and you go, okay, you know they they do it where it's good enough and mm-hmm. you go, oh, I see what you did there, very funny. But then there's people like Bally Song who can't just kind of make a meme. He has to make this look like it would go on a box for a Nintendo game. Like he can't. You know what he, he's such an obsessive dude. It's like no, oh. it, it has to be perfect. And at the and and at the bottom here it says uh, nincompoops instead yes. of Nintendo. But you know the other funny the, the other thing is Bali Song is so good that he sent me a message. He goes, I don't know. I think people are going to think I'm being nice to them. Because, you know, it is a good picture and everything. It is, but it's not a nice No, meme. it's not nice. It's not nice. Um, yeah, one of those guys is a 52-year-old father, so there's no way to make that and go, you're cool, bro. These, this is really, really, really good. Uh, he's on Twitter if you want the picture. Then get him some fucking some followers. All right. Um, so, and by the way, shout out to, let me give the, the correct... Posted by not a Reddit Taka. Not a Reddit Taka posted this on the uh, Fighter and the Kid subreddit. Am I correct by uh, yeah. this? Yeah. And it, <clears throat> what's funny is, right, this was four days ago. Yeah. How long ago was it when, when I honed in on him? Like, oh, he's had it with his Yeah, they, they've posted that clip of us talking about it on the and Fighter and the Kid. they picked up on it, and now they're, they're kicking it up a notch. These guys right. are going way deep with this. So they, now we're, I think we're establishing that these two... All right, so let's 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 check this out. We, uh, yeah. The first half we've seen, but we'll play it again so for a little context, reminder. Context, yeah. For a if if it fucking plays. The thing is, this is just a Reddit video. I might have to, I might have to refresh. Give me a second, because they just uploaded it to Reddit. All right, here we go. Just keep doing it, dude. Just you know, do you know keep. Pete? Yeah. How do you know him? So this uh, is Pete just around. Is he? Is he hanging? I've never seen him once. He's a, he, yeah, he, he, he goes there sparingly. Huh. He's I don't know. We're just like being cool. He lives in LA. He he. There's a lying tone in his voice. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 He comes around because he counts like I've never seen him at the comedy store. And Count's always at the comedy store, so he would know, right? Uh, no. Well, New York is on Saturday Night Live, but he comes out here too. Is he still on SNL? Oh yeah. He's great, man. That's just like, one more question. That's like a... Uh, just one more question. You know what it is, though? That would be like if Royce had, like, some female friend, right? And I claimed to have fucked her, right? And now, you know, Royce is like, oh, so-and-so is going to come hang out. And I'll be like, yeah. And you'll be like, you said you fucked her, right? And like, yeah, 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 dude. Like, where did I? Like, where were you guys saying? Oh, you know, around. Like, just hanging out, whatever. Like, that's the... I'm. Oh, no, is this person really coming here and I'm going to have to face this lie? Like, that's that's the, oh, no, that, that, I'm going to get caught this lie. That's like... Not only that, but he's acting like if the girl told me, I didn't fuck him. What are you talking about? I already knew the information, but I wasn't telling you. Yeah, but it, just to yeah, let so you like, dig so, and, and dig like, oh, and yeah, dig. Yeah, like it's, uh, you know, around town. It's the, you know, the the bar, the one with the, you know, the TVs. So there's this one. But there, <laughs> there's, 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 I've always been a fan of there's him. There's more. He's always been nice to me. It was great to me. Quiet. Sweet. Oh, yeah, I love Pete. Sweet. What else you got? What else you got? So he's trying to move on. Love his big dick energy. He started the big dick energy. Ariana Grande started mm-hmm. with him. He just does look like he might have a big dick. I don't know why. <laughs> he just does. Like lanky, yeah, you know, you lanky. Go. Yeah, that's how it goes. I don't like know. The loose that's where the big dick energy comes this from. This is lanky. Yeah. Fuck boy falls in though, dude. But I don't know what else to do, man. It- so this is him. This oh, is the on the bonfire. Okay. It's not that I'm violent or I like beating people up. I just had no other option. Well, from speaking to you, you said kind of quite the contrary that you were not violent and in the fighting very much. Were you in a lot of street fights in your life? No, 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 zero. Zero. I, I got in fight. one ever in college, and then uh, that's about it. My brother was zero, but one. He's always the one getting fights and beating me up. But I was, <laughs> right. my my parents thought he would be the cage fighter, and I'd be freaking on Saturday Night Live. So, so that first MMA, thing, she went listen. I just got done fucking seven dudes. There's nothing in my body that would go through my mind to kill her. That does not exist in me. Any fight I've ever been in, I've been in way more fights than you. Never once you, you've has been a in, you've been, but you've been You've also been in, um, what I'm saying is you've also been in. You're talking about street fights. Right? Yeah, I'm talking about I've street, been street fights. Fight, I've been more street fights than you. Wait a second. Wait a, um, wait a tick. Wait a tick. What was that, Brendan? Is this because we're jealous and don't play sports that that makes you a fucking liar? So on. 
So on the bonfire, he's telling uh, Big J Okerson and Dan Soder, he's telling them, uh, I don't get in a street, well, one street fight, one. Now he's telling Brian Gallen that I've he's been got in every it, street fight. All the street fights. Every street fight that's ever happened, I was Love in. me. Please love me. Please just accept me at this point. I'll take that. I'll take acceptance. And when you buy your pants, you know you're allowed to buy pants to go down to your ankles, right? Like, you don't have to wear the fucking Millhouse pants. You've been in more than I've been. I don't. I've been in, Bro, I've been in a lot. You grew up rich. What I are you talking about? Hold on. Hold on. Don't. Well, he, he did grow up rich. To, to be fair, let's give Brendan, let's give Brendan a uh, one point if we're adding points. Count point it. to fighter one. Oh, no, fight, point to the kid. It's the kid, but the 52-year-old's the kid, right? The 52-year-old's the kid. And then the one who lost his biggest fight ever is the fighter? The one who looks okay. like the kid of a single mom who dresses like the dad ain't shit. Rock. Hold on, hold on. Don't tell me that because you don't know what the fuck you're talking you have, about. You've been more you fights been, than me. I've been in as many fights as you've been in. Oh, my in, God. In, in, in. Well, okay, again, to, to, let, to be fair to Callan here, though. Just because you've grown up rich doesn't mean you are you don't get into fights, right? Like, I went to private school a lot of my life, private Christian school, and there were a lot of kids that grew up rich that were still fucking problems and that would still get into fights every day, so... In, in the street? I know you, reality. dude. You don't fight. I know you. Don't tell me oh that. Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What, why? You don't know me. You don't know how I grew up, as in as in getting in fights in a bar. You, you almost saw me get in two fights since you've known me. What All are right, you talking pause. about? Uh, and I am not always says Kellen is known for getting in fights. Uh, the singer from Cro Mags knew him in the punk days, and Supreme is always fighting in the clubs. That's okay, fine. I'm not saying he's not. Here's my problem, right? Your 52 year old father, why are you digging in over this? Divorced father, no, no, yeah, but a 50, recently divorced father, 52 year old divorced father, and going, No, bullshit, bro. I've been in way more fucking bar and street fights than you, dude. <laughs> what is. Like, what is wrong with who, a person who, that thinks that's cool? Who watches this and likes it? Dude, I, bullshit. I punched way more. I have a way worse temper and a way worse developed personality than you, bro. Fix your glasses. Because you, you, you look insane. I'm sorry. There you, you're good. I'm just helping it's you out. It's the fucking headphones. They, like, clamp down that's on what, the fucking that's what ears. headphones do. No, these are, like, fucking vice that's grips. That's what they do. I've been in more street fights than you. Headphones are not supposed to be like vice grips. I've worn more headphones than you, okay? I'll have you. <laughs> but seriously, a 50 something year old man who's a father who doesn't see his kids, he's too busy at the comedy store, and he's like, no, 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 I have way more anger issues than you, bro. I have way more personality and character flaws, you're, you're, dude. No, I, you're right. I fight way more in bars, dude. Okay, I guess. Who would want to win that argument? I would go, okay. <laughs> All right, man, you fight more. You sound more. like a. A fun guy to go out with. You but, know what's really fun? When you're in your 50s, right? And you want to go out with your buddy, but your buddy is still so unreasonable and so unpredictable that it's not worth going out with him. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like, like would we have even gone to Miami this weekend if I was just always getting us into fist no, fights? No. You'd go, I don't want to go, man, because you're going to, as soon as we get down, you're going to take two bites of a steak and be like, the fuck are you looking at, dude? And it's like, but it's this, the waiter. This, he just wanted to know if you wanted more water. This goes along with the whole persona, right? Because the whole, every dude you knew in high school, the ones that would talk about sports and, cru and crushing puss, were also the ones that would say, oh, fuck you up. I got into a fight with this dude last night. It's this, it's, it's this jock mentality that they have it's really weird like that's what matters what matters to them is how many people they beat up in bars and and, and and how cool they are and how many sports they played and it's like like you said you're in your 50s nobody nobody cares about that anymore yeah, if you're in your early 20s this kind of conversation this kind of shit makes perfect sense right you know what i mean especially like if you're 20 in your early 20s if you're one of those like um jockey types anyway if you're in football or you know what i mean maybe you got a football scholarship i'm not talking like division one but any kind of college football program you're probably going to crush some beers maybe a little bit of roids and maybe on the weekends you are going to be like bullshit dude i punch way more people in the face than you the, you know when you're in your 20 52 year old father who's divorced and again probably spends a lot more time at the comedy store than helping his kids with their homework just saying Street? I know you, dude. Reality. You don't fight. I know you. Don't tell me oh that. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. What, why? You don't know me. You don't know how I grew up. As in, as you in don't know me. Fifty-two-year-old man again saying you don't know. He's speaking like a pregnant thirteen-year-old on Maury Povich. Car when Cartman, remember when Cartman played? You know, yeah. I, 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 
I, I kill people and I rape people. You don't know me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's about to say, catch me outside. He really is fucking Cartman's character. Yeah, that's what he is. You don't know me. I do what I want. I do what I want. You don't know how I grew up. As in, as in getting in fights in a bar. You, you almost saw me get in two fights since you've known me. That's reasonable behavior. And, and, you're, and, you've know, and you're in his 50s, though. You've almost seen him get into two fights? Why? Imagine being this no, because I'm trying to think about this. Like, so let, let's say we didn't we didn't go to a show in Tampa because we went to South Florida. Let's say we would have gone. Let's say we would have done something. And what you think he would have tried to fight us? I, I'm being serious. Like, if he's that hot headed, probably. I would have lied. Would have been hilarious. I don't care. I would have two on one them. I'm, yeah. I'm not above that <laughs> shit. Yeah. I'm really not. I'm sorry. I I used to be when I was younger. Yeah. But I'll do this myself. Now I'm in my 30s. I'm like I will three on one you. <laughs> what do you want from me? I don't care. Fucking Tupac did it. He was cool. <laughs> hey, you know what? That's a, that's a t-shirt idea. Tupac stomped the shit out of somebody with like eight other dudes at the MGM Grand, and nobody the next day went, you know, Tupac. That's pretty lame. Well, to be fair, he got shot and murdered immediately after. But whoa, wait, what? Had he been alive, he died. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's tragic. Who's the guy? Who's the guy hosting Family Feud? That's Steve Harvey. I just thought Tupac grew a mustache. That's. A thicker mustache. I can't tell if you're really, really stupid. They wore the same suits. I can't tell if you're really, really racist or just really stupid, but it's not too popular. A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. <laughs> <laughs> you pick. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you pick out the ratio. I don't, I don't know. It's a little what, are what are you talking about? Don't say that. You don't have the kind of temper I do. Don't don't act like you've been in more fights. You're acting like, oh, I grew up rich. First of all, I what promise the can you imagine a guy with that temper, how great he must have been to be around with his wife and his kids? Like, Because if he, because when you have a temper like that, there's not people that have street fighting tempers and then are very also nice to their family. Like, that, carry, that shit carries over. Like, all the dudes that I've known that have tempers like this punch holes in drywall. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, all the dude, it, it, you don't, you don't shut it off, right? Like, there's UFC guys, well, like, there's UFC guys that actually don't get into street fights that are perfectly cut because they're like, okay, I'm in the octagon. This is my job. This is what but I'm doing. They're, yeah, they're not getting into bar or home no, fight. No, no. They're very chill dudes that only once every in six months are like, I'm going to murder this dude. And then right, I'm right. back to my regular life. But I can't imagine you were lovely to be around. No, he, he, it definitely, there's a sort of a, like a cancerous uh, anger there. That you yeah, it's weird. Just, what does I've been that more mean? fights with than you, Brian. What? How many fights have you been in? Oh, by the way, all because I'm going to clip this, and, and the, 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 the sycophants that, that follow them are going to go, you guys are okay, fine, look, okay, hey, call fat, virgin, yeah. stupid, whatever, I don't stupid. care. Uh, we don't crush puss. We don't play sports. Right, we don't play sports. Mm -hmm. Explain to me, the, that's fine, it's just, just answer me this question. Explain to me how we didn't just catch Brendan Schaub in a lie. He was just caught in, because right, we're making fun of Callan for his attitude, and that's fine, but remember this, Schaub is saying he's been in more street fights than Brendan, after he said, I didn't get in the street fights, my brothers did. Or my brother did. Yeah. I couldn't even count. You, I, I know you. I know a lot of people. You grew up in, you, I know your personality. You weren't fight, street fighting all the time. I was street fighting, I was street fighting with my brother, the neighborhood we grew up sure, in. Sure, you're, you're Aurora. Your Aurora. Aurora, Colorado. Aurora, well, Colorado. Streets of Aurora. Yes, that's that, right. By the way, I've had family living in for years, and it's, it's one of those neighborhoods where you hear kids playing all the time mm -hmm. after school lets out. Of course. It's just one of those where you just hear little, little, Little squeals of joy and, and ice cream trucks riding past. <laughs> it's it's one of those places when you go to bed and if you get forget to lock your car, you're like, it'll be fine. I'm not it's getting fine. up. I'm not getting up for this. The, it's the way we grew up, B. Yeah, I, I I fought plenty in high school and in college. Okay, you're some badass. I'm not. A, okay, look, Callan had his time in the, in the barrel, but let's. Can we please shift over here to Brendan just for a second? Yeah, first of all, Mister admitted he was never in any street fights. Like you're some badass. These guys are the jock table in high school, but they're adults, so it's cringe, right? Very cringe. It's really fucking cringe. So the walls have been tearing down this relationship for a while. I'm sure Callan's going to go, go back on and pretend like him and Brendan are best buds, but you're not. Because there's, there's a what you say and what really comes out. This is, this is what's coming out. These are two people that it's not like Opie and Anthony where they started to hate each other. I don't think they've ever liked each other. Yeah, oh, and I started off, at, you know, at least having to fight together in the right. beginning. This, these two just were placed together. Exactly. This, this is like if they placed Opie and Anthony together 
randomly when they were both in their 40s. Yeah, exactly. They would have hated each other right off the jump. Right. You're some no, no, badass you street fighter Why are you badass? saying I'm a badass? Why are you doing that? You're I, being insulting. I'm not being insulting. Being ins that is insulting. But hold on. You are being insulting. Oh, Brendan. I get it, Royce. You're a fucking tough guy. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> just like, what are you doing? I love white guy who shaves line into his hair, too. But something else that needs to be pointed out. White guy who shaves a line into his hair. How old is Brendan? Brendan is late 30s, his 40s. What are you doing, man? I just called you a badass. No, no, you're not. You're you're being condescending. What you're saying? How? Is you're going. Oh, you grew up rich and you haven't fought. Don't say that. You don't know me. Why are you so upset? Because I have a bad temper. You see, so, I'm, I'm so, not upset because exactly, I know what's true. Exactly. Because I know I what's true. I don't get defended. Oh, so I'm making up. I'm making up stories. About you make fighting. up a lot of stories. I make up a lot. Whoa! What? Yeah. What? There's a little. Uh, what? Yeah. Hold on. I'm making up. That's I'm making up stories. About you make fighting. up a lot of stories. I make up a lot of stories. I make so. So I'm a liar. Yeah. I'm a liar. Are you shitting me? Tell me a story I've made up. A real story. F first of all, be careful now how you speak. B, you're telling me you yeah. you don't exaggerate I, stories. I do not lie. I de I never lie. You never lied. No, I don't lie. When it, when it comes to real stories, like saying I'm a black belt, saying that I won the Nationals, <sighs> all that, or saying I was a wrestler, that's lies. Have I ever done that? I have character. I don't lie. I'm not saying you don't have character. Yeah, no, you are. You, no, no. If you're saying somebody's lies, then you are inherently saying they don't have character, or a faulty character at least, right? Like, you do... Brendan Shaw, this is what he does. Not Because we've picked up a lot of little things in him, like he copies the person mm -hmm. he's in the room with. Mm -hmm. But... It's there's something childlike about Brendan. I've said this before. There's something very childlike about him. It's a childlike brain. It's all it's all the punches to the head. Uh, in my opinion, not a professional opinion, but I think it's all the punches to the head, right? It's something childlike. When you get accused of lying, what's the first thing you, as a kid, if you're a kid, what's the first thing you do? No, -uh, you're lying. The, my teacher was lying. I wasn't late. My yeah. teacher's a liar. Everyone's always, it's always somebody else is always a liar. Yeah, you're never the liar. Brendan, you were just caught lying. You just got caught lying. No, no, no. I've character. never said you've never had kids. Okay, character. but you're saying I lied. What do you mean by I lied? You, you've lied before, for sure. Give me an example. Uh, late to the studio all the time. Missing shows. We're getting a little peek into this little world, boys. Late to the studio all the time, missing shows. But now we're getting a little... This shouldn't have went out. Like, sh Wouldn't you just cut that out? Yeah, I would have cut this out. Well, it doesn't matter. People grab... Because the problem is once you get gain a reputation of being the show who deletes stuff and stuff like that, especially when you're big enough like they are... These guys aren't live, are they? They don't live stream. I believe they do. No, they, they record and they premiere. Mm. I don't think okay. they... I don't th correct me if I'm wrong. Can somebody tell me if they live stream? I'm pretty sure these guys don't go live live. They, they go into that studio and they film a bunch of these fucking shows and put them in the can. And then you think so? Put them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, again, correct me if I'm wrong, anybody in the chat, but I'm pretty sure it's fucking pre-recorded. So I'm just saying, and, and, you know, not to break the fourth wall or anything, like, if we fought live on the air, I would just be like, leave it. Leave it up. Whatever. But Somebody says this clip is two years old. Okay, well, then they probably they haven't liked each other for a while. Yeah, I so mean, what? They it's still, a money thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. They're still in fucking contract. They still don't like each other. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's like if we fought live, I'd be like, yeah, don't take that down. But if we were pre-recording a show and we fought, I'd probably just be like, I want to just not put that up. Yeah. You know no, I mean? That makes sense. Yeah, no, you are. You, not uh, I love Mac Daddy. That's cute. Royce thought they went live. I'm sorry. I don't subscribe to their channel. Yeah, we don't care. Nor do I watch it. We get sent stuff of pertinence and we played it. Do you think? I'm sorry. Do you think? Let's just say for example. Do you think when Tucker Carlson plays a clip of another news network, he's sitting there watching the entire? No, we're not. We we, we get said clips. It doesn't change that he called his co-host a fucking liar. It doesn't change. No, it's irrelevant. That Bre but you know what? Wait a this second. This was two years ago, bro. It's irrelevant. It's not that irrelevant, and here's why. It's not that irrelevant because this bonfire episode was from this year in yeah, May. It was from a couple so months it ago. actually, it's not irrelevant because all that means is it was backwards that he lied on his show first, or he lied here. Yeah, we're trying to establish that these two a don't like each yeah. other, b both have a history of lying, and c uh, you know basically like I said can't stand each other. So it, it's almost like if you were on trial for something, and let's say that like. You know, let's say Royce is on trial mm -hmm. for uh, for financial fraud, 
and I'm the uh, prosecutor. And I dig up the fact that two years ago, Royce was arrested and convicted of financial fraud. You can't pull this. Uh, that was two years ago, boys. We're trying to establish his character at this point mm -hmm. and establish the themes that we're trying to push in this case. In this case, these two don't like each other. They're both fucking liars, and they're both in this for a paycheck. You show a clip, and you go, two years ago, this is them screaming at each other. Yeah, but that's old, though. Okay, but the clip... But he still lied. The clip of Callan calling out uh, Schaub in the beginning for the Pete Davidson thing, that's also very recent. That's from, that's from this month. It's all in Or last there. month. Yeah, it's, it's all kind of in the same vein here. Comes with real stories like saying I'm a black belt, saying that I won. No, 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 no. I've character. never said you've never had Okay, character. but you're saying I love. Something else that Brendan does, I don't know if you've noticed this, and I, this, is, this is what like people that think they're alphas do. He keeps touching him. Like actually making con and, not like point, but he like he touched his knee, he touched his hand, kind of like people do that, like in daring you when they're trying to alpha you, right? Yeah, like they're, they're trying like, to dare you. Yeah, and I, I've had moments in my life where I'm like, if you touch me one more time, I'm gonna have to fuck you up. Like right. it's not even a like, just stop touching. You know, I, I don't like being touched anyway. I do have to say this, Robbie. Don't care. In the chat wrote, uh, <sighs> this cunt won't even look me in the eye. <laughs> the old O and A reference. The text that he sent to fucking, he accidentally sent to Opie about Opie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, what do you mean by a lie? You, you've lied before, for sure. Give me an example. Uh, late to the studio all the time, missing shows. I can keep going not, on and I on. I never lied about that. Guys, we, all, we all lie. Are you no, no, shitting no, no, me? Well, why is it produced, guys, we all lie, but okay, but, but you shouldn't, right? Well, they're, they're all L.A. comics, so they're like, guys, we are all full of shit 100% yeah. of the time, right? I've never lied about missing shows. When I miss shows, I'm working. Uh, I'm you've been late to the show. I go, what are you doing? You're like, uh, you, you don't make up. You even We're told me. We're joking around. When I, when I go, oh, there's a, there's a break, a main break, what do I do later? I've never in my life, in you've my never life, lied, lied to you, a friend like where I've gone, I've, I've made up a story and then not told you I was joking around. Ever. Ever. I mean, what are you talking just keep doing it, dude. Mm -hmm. Just you know, do you know that's it. That's, that's, the, whole it. Clip, that, that's but, um, the clip. Yeah, yeah, dude. <clears throat> I, I think that when you have a whole clique that's built on hateable people, they're all going to start hating each other. I think that that's pretty standard behavior. Right. This is uh, somebody else put this together. The Chronicles of CTE Shop. Have you seen this? In a little trolley, a little trolley started all this chaos. Um, it was just, it not, it's kind of tough to decide where to start. However, you ever tried throwing a trolley, Chen? No, I don't know what you're, you're talking about, actually. Throwing a trolley. Is that what you said? <laughs> Conor McGregor threw a trolley through a bus window. Tell me you know what the fuck I'm talking about. I don't know what a trolley is. <laughs> Man, I... Is my brain not working right? I don't think oh, I know what a trolley Take This actually makes me feel bad for Take this round out, man. Are you shitting me? I'm not kidding. You didn't see Conor McGregor throw a trolley through a window. I thought throw something. I don't know. But you saw, uh, you, you're aware of all this news, yeah? Yeah, of course. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. Wait, it, you're talking about a dolly. A dolly. Damn. He meant... He was saying a trolley. He meant a dolly? And by the way, by the way, it's neither. Mm -hmm. It was a barricade. Barricade. Yeah, it you're right. It was a metal barricade that you, you know, the chain a bike to. But you can also block like wrestling crowds and people at the MSG. That's it was a it was a barricade that he threw through the fucking. I think this was on below the belt. This yeah. is one of his other. By shows. the way, I that blank stare. I, he's done that before too. It, it, it's I. It's the only time I actually feel bad for him because there've been other times people are like. Oh, yeah, you're talking about last Wednesday at the Ice House? And he'll be like, he just gets like this weird, like, yeah, like deer in headlights. Yeah. Almost like the slang and dick thing. No, but it's almost like you, uh, like you completely just like lost time for a minute and then you snapped out of it and you were on stage. And everyone's like, say something, Royce. <laughs> it's just that way you're like, Oh shit! <laughs> Why am I on a stage right now? He has that look of like, oh god, oh god, think of something. He just said something to you, and you don't remember a word he just said. I and mean, that's what I, was what like, I say. Trolley. Oh my bad. <laughs> what I say. 
Trolley, trolley. Oh no, dolly. Yeah, 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 dolly. yeah, yeah. What they're saying is, so let's say you like um, Jerry Seinfeld, right? Well, who inspired Jerry Seinfeld? That's going to explain all about Jerry Fe Seinfeld. Well, who inspired, let's say, George Carlton? If he's a Carl, George Carlton. Carl, 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 Carl. Carl. Let's say who inspired him? Carlin, George Carlin. George Carlin. 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 That have not received Bruce it. Bruce Springsteen. Bruce Springsteen. He really is punch drunk. Did dude. you call him Bruce Springsteen? Bruce Springsteen. Did he call him Bruce Springsteen? Okay, people are correcting me. It was a hand truck. It was a dolly. Right. My bad. Fine, it was a dolly. Jesus Christ. Can you go back a little bit? Because I, I, I need to hear George Carlton again. Sure. <laughs> I need to hear George, the yeah, comedian. Yeah, 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 yeah. What they're saying is, so let's say you like um, Jerry Seinfeld, right? Well, who inspired Jerry Seinfeld? That's going to explain all about Jerry Fe Seinfeld. Well, who inspired, let's say, George Carlton? If he's a Carl, George Carl, Carlton. Carl, Carlton. Carlton. Carl. Let's say, who inspired him? Carlton, George Carlton. George Carlton. Carlton. All right, man. If you're if you want to be a comic, like there's certain na there's certain that. names you should know, right? Like Richard Pryor. Like there's certain names that yeah, like Richard Pryorson, Bill Hickberg, yeah, Eddie Murphy. <laughs> he's so, dude. He's he really. I don't know what that last fight did to him. What that man owes him money, Royce. Mm -hmm. That last man he fought owes him fucking money. For per turning his brain into some sort of gelatin slash pudding type uh, material. John that have not received. Bruce Springsteen. Bill Crosby. My somebody boy, wrote. Jimmy Stevens got me that knockout over Dan Ho Choi. <laughs> Damn you, Do Ho. Do Ho Choi. Do Ho Choi. What did I say? Dan Ho? No, I said Duho. Did you? Yeah. Well, we're wide I don't know, Dan. With Fastbender, with every, I think Fastbender is is the truth. You look at his background, stuff like that, and he fought a le more legit guy than Theo Rav is. But you can, what did uh, Ethan Hawkins have? But listen, I'm a fan of uh, Wiz Khalifa. <laughs> I can't. I'm embarrassed. Did he call him Wiz Khalifa? Tell me he doesn't have CTE. I think he has CTE, but here's the other thing I think. I think that he also, and I was guilty of this like when I was younger, when I was much younger, but like when I was in my 20s, I just basically like worked and I went out and partied and I, I just had an okay life. I didn't really do anything and I didn't really desire anything and I wasn't really interested in anything and I didn't really learn about anything for like a couple of years of my 20s. I was like, whatever, dude. And like... He's, he reminds me of that guy. He's got a nice car, and he's always cruising around L.A., and he just fucks chicks, and he just, you know what I mean? I think he's just doing his doing his thing at the comedy, and I don't think he cares. And I think it's CTE combined with the fact that he just has no interests in anything, and he pretends to know everything, so he's constantly being like, yeah, Wiz Khalifa, bro. He's fucking awesome. Yeah, I mean, he's, he, no, he, he's no George Carlton. But. He, he sounds, yeah, he sounds like... He's mimicking what other people think is cool, like what other people like with, with a comic thing. If you're a comic, like you should know Carlin, you should know Pryor, you should know blah, blah, whatever, you know, go down the list. He's just like everything he does. That's something we figured out about him. It's he's he's like when your little brother tries to copy you, but he doesn't do it just right. Like he's trying to copy you to be cool. That's what he is. Yeah, guys, I like Wiz Khalifa, too. Uh, that's funny. All right, yeah, that's that's great. <laughs> sound like my dad right there. Where's Khalifa? Well, uh, you sure it's Khalifa, not Khalifa? Yeah. 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 Everybody's sure of that. Even I know. I think it depends. Well, I've heard bo both. Oh, really? Yeah. He's. Wait, 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 wait. He's. He's heard both? No, he hasn't. Okay. Khalifa or Khalifi? I heard Kal Khalifa. They make some nice music. Oh, Delicious. I hate that, but I don't like it. I don't, I don't get down. Sea like, urgent? I don't, like, I don't like rubbery. Sea urgent. Shit. The only, thing, the only time I've had sea urchin that I liked was when you put it with, when you mix it with pasta in Via Veneto. That's the only time. No, I still don't like sea urchin. Yeah. Sea urchin. Don't say urgent. <laughs> sea urchin. Ever see urgent. It's sea, sea urchin. urchin. No, it's no, no, urchin. no. Urchin. You are sea urgent. Because I got to get to the sea urgently. Nope. It's huh? Not, he's doing good. That's a good joke, bro. He's, he's, he is. It really is like. Nice cover up. Dude. That's what I mean, but it really is like he's always panicking and trying to stay above water verbally, but his brain just can't. 
No, no, no. I no. see you were talking two different things. Because no. I said right now. No, I'd no, love I to get like... to the sea urgent. I feel like you're covering. The and other. then the sea urgent. Oh, you were saying I my you, like you I don't gotta like get the sea urgent. Yes. So you don't like getting to the sea. I like to be there on my. Way. No, I need to You'd be like there to at my the time. Leisure. Yes. Okay, I thought you were covering for a second. Oh, but no. that, that no. makes sense. And they they even go to where Henry Lee Oswald's. God, and they have to like. They have to cover for each other. Of course. Oh, yeah, dude. Now I get it. Ugh. Or he was joking. Maybe Brandon Callum was joking. Or being sarcastic. The house was where he stayed. Henry uh, Lee Oswald was shot. Harvey. Dude, don't you remember Henry Lee Oswald? And it's not even... It's, that was Harvey's brother. He was the grassy knoll. But you, you even mixed it up, because even if you got it right, it's not Harvey Lee Oswald either. It was Lee Harvey Oswald, you dumbass. Henry he didn't even, even Lee Oswald. He didn't even at least say Lee Henry Oswald. No, it's Henry Lee. I mean, Henry Lee Lucas is a serial killer, but not the same guy. You know too much about serial killers. Sorry. <laughs> Harvey, sorry. Weird. Might be CT. Fraternity? Fraternity? For, uh, fraternity. That's why they're supporting an umbilical like Trump. I mean, that okay. So he's reading. So you gotta. So, so people, people are not watching. It. People are not watching. He's reading. Yeah. And he read imbecile umbilical. as umbilical. He was reading an article. Umbilical. And, and it's. He has to realize, right? Like, then he's not writing this shit. Oh, no. He was reading an article. Okay. That makes yeah, yeah. Sense. No, no, no. He's reading an article. That's fucking really embarrassing. That's why they like the UFC. God, God, this guy's so out of touch with reality. Yeah, you're not happy with you. I gotta introduce you guys. This is Tony Hinchcliffe yeah. and Jeremiah Watson. Yeah, <laughs> Watkins. Even even the guys that like okay, because Jeremiah Watkins is I've said before is arguably one of the funniest guys over there. Yeah, right you said now. that before. He's yeah. very one of much one of the funniest comedy store uh, performers. And he's got to really, like, carry a lot of water for, like, Tony Hinchcliffe and Red Band and all these Death Squad assholes. Because he's got to, you know, whatever, pay his dues. Um, guys like Brendan have sort of just passed over Jeremiah Watkins. Like, Jeremiah Watkins should be on tour with Joe Rogan. Jeremiah Watkins should be doing three podcasts. You know what I mean? Like, he's really, really funny. And he's got to come in here and be like, uh, come in with Tony, promote this Kill Tony shit. I got to be nice to this fucking meathead fucking retard. Whoa. And on top of that, he can't even get... He's at this comedy store every night, the same fucking club, Royce, and he can't say his name right? He, but you know what? It's you're right. It's disrespectful. You brought, you, know, you, you brought something up that I, I think really needs to be talked about. There's a lot of people around Brendan Schaub that are clearly using him because he's friends with Joe Rogan and it helps boost their shows and all that stuff. But in reality, like... You don't think when these comics are just hanging out without Brendan there, they're not shit. They have to be shitting on Brendan all. Like this is a dude that they probably shit on all the time when they're not around him. I would like if this was somebody we knew. You know, you would we would just be shitting on him when he's not around because he's he's a dumb guy, right? They can't call him out publicly because obviously Brendan has the Showtime show and he has a big exposure, former UFC fighter. So obviously. You know, you're you're like, oh, this is just gonna help promote my shit. I get it. Like, and that's a lot of. We talked about carnies earlier. A lot of comics are carnies too. A lot of comics hate each other, but they all pretend to like each other because you know it's a fraternity, man. Co comedians are like fucking women, dude. Yeah, it's, they really have the same etiquette. They have the same sort of general. Hey, I loved your set, girl. I loved mm -hmm. it. You know she's fucking Rogan, right? Yeah, fucking bitch. Like it's but guy comedians are just as like women. It's the same thing. Hey, Tim, I loved your set, dude. Yeah, man, great stuff, dude. Who does Tim Dillon think the fuck he is? He's gonna come out here and he's gonna be like one of the guys now. He thinks he's gonna yeah. be just one of us. Like it, it's there's so much self hatred in the comedy world. It's like literally, they'll go out. They, even the ones you like, they shit on each other. They like legitimately. Like you'll go to a diner after a show and you'll all eat, and then one of the guys is like, "All right, man. Well, anyway, good night, man. I gotta get back. I got work in the morning. I'll see you later." And then they'll leave. Uh, look, guys, I'm just gonna say it, man. Like he's not that funny. He's not yeah, that exactly. Like, they wait till they leave. You're, you're still waiting for their right. Uber, and you're like, "God damn, man! Wait, wait for them to pull out of the parking lot." Uh, let's uh, here. Hold on, it's a little bit, a little bit. Now the problem is we get too many clips of him being stupid, being sent my way. 
Watkins, <laughs> my bad. Watkins, bro. Yes. The, uh, oh, sorry, man. I'm going. I'm going off a little sleep. Oh, good. And a fucking traumatic brain injury. <laughs> it's more the traumatic brain injury than the little sleep, right? Hey, man. I'm a little groggy and also mentally retarded. Sorry about that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um. <clears throat> Sorry, my blood sugar's low, and I fucking parts of my brain shut down. Sorry, guys. Hey, uh, I took uh, melanin last night, melatonin, so I could go to sleep, and uh, it ended up making me sleep really late today. Oh, also, my brain has been turned into pudding by a, f- a far superior fighter than me. Fighters. 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 By multiple better fighters. They just, you know, no matter what, no matter what I did... They just kept punching me in the head region. And then after a while, it got to be unpleasant. Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I legends in the USC like Chuck Little and Randy Cotter. He starts got naming it. all these fucking legends. Uh, Titan Ortiz. Uh, Frank Meyer. <laughs> Frank Meyer. <laughs> all these people. <laughs> Meyer. <laughs> Frank Myers. You never heard of him? He broke a bunch of guys' arms. I think he'd Frank Meyer, you mean? Moist Gracie. Take the shoes off the table. Two hours of show before this. Yeah. Brendan Schaub in his pro debut oh, no. as a 25-year-old. Um, then- <laughs> <laughs> I can't. This guy is just... He's just... Is he one of the most... Cringe people ever? No, yeah, no, he is. But, like... In any other situation, if he wasn't like buddies with Rogan, this would be the one of the biggest locales on the internet. Oh yeah, no, this guy should. Like he's, a, he's kind of a locale, but he would be one of the biggest locales on the internet if you took away the fact that Rogan and all these guys stand up for him. No, if, if in it, in it, there's an alternate universe right now where he never became friends with Rogan and he's got a 27-page-long Kiwi Farms thread. Yes, exactly. And people are just going, dude, look what Brendan Schaub did again today. He tripped <laughs> like a fucking, look at this dumb idiot. <laughs> just be Kiwi Farms people just go, hey, look, stupid idiot again, can't pronounce names. Oh. <laughs> Bader versus freaking uh, Fedor. I, I didn't think it would go like that. I thought Bader was going to get an underhook. Yeah, Bader. I was kidding about the fighter names, by the way. Hey, photographers. Photographers. He is. Why? Your job is to split. Why would you? Your showtime, right? Here's okay. a bunch of money uh, to do a bunch of podcasts and be one of our professional speakers. You can't, you're telling me you can't find any other former UFC jobber who doesn't speak m- what more properly and actually like have a decent vocabulary and is it a moron i'm sure a lot of them are morons but i've seen a few ufc fighters that know how to fucking talk you know what i mean why isn't cm there's, no 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 there's why isn't plenty CM of punk doing a fucking podcast even he could probably skate a little bit better than brendan there's plenty of ufc fighters that could talk and have become actually decent announcers that's actually true um but look you could be stupid or you could have cte and still be successful. You can't be both. Yeah, like and Muhammad Ali problem. was a genius who had CTE. Right, and so he was like, flow like a butterfly." Stupid. Even in his old age, right. he still could hold it together. Yeah, but he wasn't a dumb man. This guy, yeah, like you said, he's dumb, and he's also had you his can't brain have punishment. both. Like you could be success. Honestly, this country's <laughs> awesome, right? right? This country's so cool that you could be one of the two and still be successful. But he's both. And that and that's what does that's what puts him over the edge. Like everything stacked against him. If he wasn't friends with the Rogan community and all these West Coast, if Rogan wasn't sticking him in a high chair and going, "Here's the airplane," where would he be? You blockbuster. I look forward to seeing you guys. I can't oh, wait. Hey, my buddy Ryan Loco, who did, uh, he's like one of the best photographers in the world. Took all my pictures. You want you, you want to snap some shots? Yes. With you? Uh, Martin to Short, Todd, uh, hey, Tony Hedgecliff. What's your favorite Scorsese film? Scorsese, uh, probably. Mine is Bootfellas. I like Casino. Oh, Casino's really Casino's good. Casino's good. good. Dude, if you look at over the time of some great artists like freaking John Lennon or anybody, Picasso. Yeah. They- does it physically but make you cringe when he does this? Picasso? You know what's making me cringe even more is watching Chris Delia yeah. this whole time. He's having none of Brennan Schaub shit either. Chris Delia has absolutely no respect 
for Brendan Schaub in this picture. Also, Chris Dealey in this picture looks like Nick Stahl on heroin. Picasso. Picasso. You what? You don't like the? They had their shit, man. Did you see that evil Chinese man, Ling Jingling? And it's over. It's over. And Jingling puts his Jingling. He always, you're right, Mike. Now that I'm noticing, he's he, this deer in the headlights. He always seems surprised. When, no, but only when people respond to him and yeah. throw him off course. Yeah. He'd be like, yeah, last week, right? Like, uh, I went to the store, I went to the bodega because I was hungry, right? Oh, yeah, what'd you get to eat? And then he just freezes. He's always like, um, uh, Ross Compoyo. <laughs> um, what was I talking about? He's like, Jesus, one thing throws him completely off track. What is it? J Jinling. Jing Jingling. Jingling Jang. Puts his <laughs> Jingling. Jinling. Oh my bad. I'm <laughs> fucking that. close. Oh, Who's the ref? Ma was it Mari Yamasaki? Masasaki. Then you're gonna have the lightweight champion in uh, Khabib go to welterweight, and then you're gonna have the 145 champ Max Hollywood. Paulie Mel Mel Melgenati. Uh, I love. No. Let tell the listeners who Nakasawa is first of all. Nasukawa. He's really got starch. He's in Nasukawa. By this is great Floyd editing Mayweather. too. By the way. Starch. I mean, he's yeah. the guy who faked like yet starch by Floyd Mayweather in Japan. It's epic. What's it, it called? I forget, but you oh, watch it. That poor lady. No, you feel bad the for Rachel it. Yeah. The, the Rachel Divide. The Rachel Dozer, right? What's it called? The Rachel Divide. The Rachel Divide. Dolezal is her name. Do the Rachel Divide in this country is it's been an all-time high. Imagine having his brain and trying to use Google. Dozel. Right? Dolezal. Could you imagine being like, oh, what's that girl's name? Let me type in Rachel Dozer into Google. Like, everything he types in would lead him to nothing. Everything autocorrects. Probably tries to No, autocorrect. no. He's so bad it wouldn't autocorrect. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Google would just go, there is no Rachel Dozer, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. Sounds like a roller rink person. Have, what's that Chinese, roller derby person? What's that Chinese MMA fighter. Let me type in one word: jingling. <laughs> I'm sure that'll lead me to an end result I'm looking for. No, her different she, name now. She, she changed, changed her, her name. name to like some soup. Does she still want to be black? John Elway fucking lives. By the way, life. Rachel Divide does sound like an interracial porn star. If we're being fair. Rachel Divide yeah. sounds like an ECW female wrestler. <laughs> yes, you're right. Oh uh, shit! Owns car dealership. Won Super Bowls. Any the beat? Okay, he won Super Bowls. Okay, yeah. that's not anything. <laughs> Back to the taquito diet. So um, I have more knowledge now. Did you say taquito diet? Yeah, <laughs> taquito <laughs> diet. I'm fucking. Back to Freud. I'm Back struggle to city Back right now. So struggle city. He is a 15 year old girl. Washington Times, I don't know how reputable they are, but pretty, pretty reputable. They say no narcotics or alcohol in the system when he died. And they're, this I mean, one pretty from... reputable. So he copies what Brian Callen says and he calls it reptical. They're pretty reptical. They're pretty reptical reptical news organization. When he died. And they're, this I mean, one pretty from... reptical. Reptical. They're pretty reptical news organization. I would be fucking miserable having to do this. Yeah. Ready for this? This is a project. Had zero amateur fights. Zero. Not one. Not 450 like Lomachenko. Not 350 like Triple G. He's the youngest champion ever and has zero background. That would be a project. Aaron Peake. A project. Go with prodigy. Prodigy. Pro yeah, prodigy. Prodigy. Not prodigy. A prodigy. <laughs> so, like, most of their shows are Brian Callen correcting him? Is that what it is? Joanna Yunjenchek versus Rose Nama Nunez. How do you like that for pronunciation? Suck on them balls. He, also, like, he mispronounced. His... No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He also does these shows where he rubs his face all the time and seems like he's just tired and doesn't want to be there. Versus Rose Nama Nunez. How do you like that for pronunciation? Suck on <laughs> He mispronounced. He mispronounced. Pronunciations. He's really dumb, dude. He's a dumb guy. Right, nah, 